2021 has been quite the year for East Texas from wild winter weather, leaving thousands of you in the dark to a guilty verdict of a killer nurse betraying the trust of vulnerable patients. Here's a look in the rear view mirror. A grim start to 2021 new beginnings came to an abrupt end for beloved pastor Mark McWilliams leaving shock in Starville. When I first heard about it, it, it I literally it made me sick at my stomach. After a night of evading officers, accused gunmen, Mitrez Woolen hid inside the Starville Methodist Church. The church just happened to be the location that he was able to get into and take refuge. Preparing for Sunday services in an attempt to defend his flock, his own gun turned against him. McWilliams was shot and killed. I pray for my Trez woman. Father, we ask God that you would put in our hearts the ability to forgive. In December, Woolen was found too incompetent to stand trial. One month later, a spine chilling historic February freeze. Tyler and Longview hitting the negatives, breaking an all time record set in the 1930s. East Texas was frozen at a standstill. Uh, a lot of pipes busting and a lot of a lot of water. And after the power grid failed, people were left in the dark and cold. Of course, no heat, no internet, no TV. For days, even weeks, leaving 210 Texans dead, nine of those living in six of our East Texas counties. I have never experienced anything like this. Deadly consequences said to inspire change. The state claims it won't happen again. The power plants will stay on and their machines won't freeze. But through the winter nightmare, Good Samaritans made sure no East Texan was left behind. It's not just me jumping to the rescue. I mean, you just got to be active and be willing to, to help out when somebody needs it. Flash forward to the July heat. On my, on, on my driveway, a boy that's been living with my son, I think he's dead. A gruesome quadruple murder rocked the people of Cherokee County. It's so hard to believe. <laughs> um, I just... I couldn't imagine it happening to my little brother. What started off as a robbery turned into murder, leaving four people shot and killed. These three men were charged in the horrific act, all of which pleaded not guilty in December. And in October, justice brought to an eerie case in Smith County. The case concluding today uh, doesn't doesn't heal all those wounds. We can't bring those people back. Former Christus nurse William Davis found guilty after killing four patients by injecting air into their arterial lines. Davis now lives the rest of his days behind bars until his execution date, leaving peace for people and patients of Smith County. I think justice was served. Uh, Will Davis earned earned this. Finally, new COVID-19 variants snagging our sense of normalcy for yet another year. In July, Delta stole the stage with infections plaguing East Texans, putting a damper on summer plans to only once again be greeted by a new contender, Omicron, the virus that stole holiday joy, infamous for being twice as contagious as its summer counterpart. My bigger concern is people coming to visit this, you know, over the next weekend. Uh, particularly from the larger, more urban areas and, and potentially bringing it with them. Leaving no relief in sight for Deep East Texas. We still would expect the, the peak to be January 10th-ish. Uh, somewhere around there. In Angelina County, December of 2020 brought nearly 5,700 positive cases. Monday, that number more than doubled to 14,000. The new year undoubtedly will bring new challenges, and through it all, once again, resilience and community will keep East Texas strong.